Christian fiction writer and New York Times best-selling author Charles Martin has written 12 books published in over 25 countries. Today, we are so excited to have him here to discuss his latest book, Long Way Gone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for having me. We were chatting before the interview. I was going to say welcome to Tampa, but you've spent a little bit of time here because you have a son in the yep, area. I have a son at USF St. Pete, and I'm currently working on a book on the west coast of Florida, so okay, I'm here good. a little more now than I used to be. Yeah, but you're a Florida boy. You're originally from Jacksonville. How many generation fifth, fifth generation but I real I think you beat me you're married to a seven I know generation. I know you don't find very many there are not many of us <laughs> around no well tell us about this latest uh, this latest book where Hope people are falling in love with yet again USA Today now has just picked it up so as of last week it's a USA Today national bestseller a couple of weeks ago I was a couple of years ago I was speaking at an event in North Georgia and as I finished I'm signing books and taking pictures mm -hmm. and a lady walks up and she's the last one in line and she's teary before she ever gets to me and when she finally gets to me, she's, she begins telling me about her son. He'd done a lot, real bad stuff. Mm -hmm. He's in prison a long time, 40 years. She'll be dead when he gets out. And she begins asking me, is he too far gone? Mm -hmm. Is he beyond the reach of the love of the Father? Is, has God forgotten about him? There's a lot of pain looking at me in the face as mm -hmm. she's talking at me. And I just began, she, she stopped at one point. She said, Charles, when is gone too far gone? A couple of weeks go, go by and I get some letters from some guys in prison and they essentially ask the same thing. So I find myself in Luke, I'm in the 15th mm -hmm. chapter, about the 20th verse, and it says, one of my favorite phrases, it says, but when he was still a long way off, talking about the son, and it's in reference to the father who's still standing on the porch, and I said, well, that's my answer. Because no matter where the son goes and what he does, mm -hmm. and no matter what he spent in his life, the father's still standing on the porch staring a long way down the road and there's no way nowhere that the son can go that the love of the father won't reach him so is this kind of your response to trying to answer that question that's a tough yeah. question to be asked yeah but it's i mean it's it's hope it's yeah. i mean the lord is the he's a, the, our hope and the anchor mm -hmm. of our soul and if i can't tell if i can't retell that story then i don't be writing books yeah well, people have, again, fallen in love with a lot of your books. Um, what I love about this, it takes place in Nashville. A lot of it was. And you say you had to go there to do research. I'm thinking you just if wanted a vacation in Nashville. I did. But I, I did. I have a sister there who's, and her husband's in the music business. But if I can't see it and smell it, yeah. I can't write it. So I met some phenomenally gifted people. I met one of Zach Brown's backup singers. I met uh, one of the guys that started with Taylor Swift and was her acoustic guy. And just their stories of life. and and. One of the cool things was after all of that research, I brought it home and my middle son is our musical prodigy. Mm -hmm. And he helped me translate that music speak into English. So John T really helped me communicate, because I'm not a musician. I mean, yeah. I can strum and I'm a hack. Music storytelling though, isn't it? He helped me translate it, so that yeah. was helpful. So let's talk about another project going on. Is Because this just came out when? Just a couple weeks ago, ago, right? Yeah. Again, people loving it. You have another book though that is in the process. Yep of being made into a big time movie. Give us a little details on that. The Mountain Between Us was my seventh novel. 20th Century Fox picked it up six or seven years ago and it's been in process. They finally put it into action a couple months ago. Uh, they start production next month. Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. They have some were phenomenally... You okay? Were you happy with uh, the actresses? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 the, they're uh, the phenomenally gifted. I mm -hmm. would love to go. They're filming it in British, uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh wow. And I would love to go. I hope Christy and I get to go and watch some filming. Yeah. What well, I was asking you, how much when the movie, you know, production companies take over, how much right, say none. do you have? None. Zero. <laughs> no, they want nothing to do with me. But I mean, I hope, I hope they make a great movie. Yeah. I, I really I'll have at it. But if folks want to know what I think, they can read my story. Read your story. I love it. Well, congratulations on all your success. Obviously, this can be found all over online in bookstores. And uh, again, what's your message as we kind of uh, close up here? What do you hope? There's that you no give place to people. People want to know am I disqualified? Is what I've done disqualify me from the love of the Father? There's no place on planet Earth that you can go that the love of Jesus won't reach out and pull yeah. you back. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story in this way. And uh, what a blessing to have you here. So uh, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for